to my stand now. What we're gonna do, we're gonna hunt this ridge line right here. Middle of the day, we're coming in here, you know, right around noon, but the deer are still running. We had one run right across the field in front of the truck when we were coming in, so the rut's kicking in big time. Slide in here, get up in the stand. We're gonna be high in the tree. Wind will be blowing, blowing our scent right over the top of the deer. Hopefully a pretty steep embankment here. They could come from anywhere in here. This is where Big Louie lives. There's monster bucks in this timber. This is the day, man. The rut's pretty, pretty well kicking in and uh, a lot of deer are moving. So hopefully this afternoon we'll get a shot at a big buck, but you never know. Maybe a big doe will come through here, but we're on a ridge top. It comes up pretty steep sides. Got a good wind in my face. The deer like to move from side to side here. Then they come off this ridge here and come down into us sometimes. So we get the perfect wind. That's why I picked this stand location. This old buck has followed a big doe into the kill zone. Now I've seen him for two years straight and never got a shot. He's got a funky looking rack. I nearly got him last year, but he just stayed out of range. His rack is actually smaller this year. Last year he had less mass, but a lot longer tines. He seems to be torn between the doe and a younger buck that wants in on the action. I'll be patient. In the distance, I can hear gunshots. The duck hunters are pursuing their passion while mine unfolds before me. At one point, the doe looked right up at me. I'm dressed in power pleat. That may have saved the day. Finally, the doe drags him by, and Big Louie makes his last Where? mistake. Where? Score, Kiwi, score, baby! <laughs> That's a nice buck. He's a nice one. Beautiful. Man, I, I was freaking out. I looked up in the timber. I seen this doe running around. I was all excited, and then I seen this little buck. I was like, ah, 
Top Gun, another little buck. And then all Big Louie come walking out of the brush, man. He, he didn't know what to do. He was going back and forth from doe. He, wanted to, he didn't know if he wanted to fight or if he wanted to chase the doe. So finally he made up his mind. She brought him right by me. I'm sure I put the can on that big boy. All right, well, I'm not gonna freak out too much here. I'm gonna give him time. The shot was a little low. I think it took the heart out, but we're gonna give him time. I'm gonna go get some lunch, give him about four hours and come back. That's what it's all about. Now he can go home and be happy I've shot Big Lou. Wah, wah. Here we are in the timber. If you can't tell, I'm pretty happy. I'm 15 yards from my big buck. Haven't walked up to him yet, but we came back after lunch yesterday, picked up the blood trail. There was a lot of blood at the beginning, then it started to dribble down to nothing. So we just backed out of there and eased away. And we follow that rule and it's always been successful for us if uh, the hit was somewhat good. And uh, there's Big Louie laying in the leaves. It looks just as dead as he needs to be. I don't have to go poke him or nothing. Holy cow. Yeah. Oh, this guy's got a, a messed up rack, man. It's going all different directions. A neat acorn right there with a split on it. The brow tines all flat out like a little moose. He's an old man and a beautiful deer. Good grief. It pays to let him, let him lay, let me tell you. It pays to leave him. Well, I guess that's the wrap up of another great hunt here in Illinois. And it's been a good season for us. The big bucks were on the move this year and some of them made the mistake of getting a little too close. We've got a lot more action, I'm sure, coming your way. And I appreciate you staying with us this far. We'll be right back after these messages.